Hi guys and welcome back to iClone 3D where we discuss tips, tricks and tutorials for the latest animation softwares and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications for all my future tutorials and today I've got one of the best tutorials I think that I've done because this is really going to help you expand on creating amazing 3D worlds and it's really going to get you set off in the right direction. So I'm going to show you how to take any HDRI map or any Google map image of any kind of city or infrastructure. I'm going to show you how to turn that into a 360 panoramic HDRI JPEG that you can then um, load straight into our clone, straight into your sky, and you get some amazing, amazing results. So without further ado, let's crack on with the tutorial. So what you're gonna wanna do is head over to the internet and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below that will take you to this website here. And uh, it's basically iStreetView.com and that will allow you to download the Street View 360. So you can choose uh, Windows or Mac uh, once you've downloaded and installed that, that will then uh, bring you to this wonderful software here. And this is what it basically looks like. And from here, what you want to do is uh, be on the Panorama download. I think I pronounced that right, Panorama. Panorama download, and then we'll go back onto the internet and we'll just basically go onto Google Street Maps. Now, this is fantastic, guys, what I'm about to show you. Um, you can literally take any background and use it as a HDRI map. So once we're on Google Maps, uh, we're going to choose anywhere we want to choose. So um, we'll just go in London because it's a very popular city. And say we wanted to get Buckingham Palace and we wanted um, Buckingham Palace to be kind of the HDRI panorama uh, to serve as our kind of backdrop over our scene. We'll just drag our little walking walking man down here and we'll just drag him over to Buckingham Palace and we'll drop him right there. And what that will do, I think I missed the target a little bit. So um, I think I missed the target. So let me just go back and I'll just try and get that a bit more close to uh, Buckingham Palace. Maybe I should have zoomed in a little bit more. Um, but we'll drop him down here. Okay, this looks a little bit better. We'll keep it as this for now. So say we wanted this now as our backdrop. All we do is go up to here and we hit copy, come back to our Street View app. And in this little section here, we just hit paste and then we're gonna hit download. Now we can choose our resolution here. Um, I've got it on the highest resolution possible, which I would advise uh, for the best results. And then we're just gonna hit download and you'll see that will start to download uh, that panoramic image. And as soon as that's done, it doesn't take very long, as you can see here. We are nearly there. But as soon as that's done, we're going to head over to iClone. And just remember to make sure you choose your location where you want that image to save. And that will then bring us up our 360 image. Now we can, what we can do, head into iClone. We can load in a sky. Uh, we can go straight to our materials tab and we can change out that sky for our image that we just rendered off. And you'll see in a second, that will then give us this amazing, amazing backdrop. And, you know, from here, we can really start to, you know, build in our scenes or, you know, load in some kind of custom built scenes. And, you know, you've really got, you know, an amazing backdrop and, you know, it's really, really game changing because you just saw how quick I done it uh, so it's not a very very long tutorial and you know it took you know a matter of minutes to do that and to get that done and I'm just going to load in a set here for you to see uh, exactly how that will look with a set in place so if we loaded this broken house you'll see um, effectively and we zoomed out Okay, so there's a um, so it's changed the sky. So what we could then do is go back onto our our scene. So let's just find the uh, house or the sky, and we'll go here, and we can then change this map back to our Google Street View map that we just downloaded, and you'll see how uh, cool that starts to look now. 
the empty space is the floor, so we'll just um, remove the floor if I can find it. We'll just remove that. Okay, not the floor I was looking for. Maybe it's the ground. Yep, yeah, perfect. So we'll remove the ground. And then if we were doing an indoor scene, you'll see, um, you know, we've got backdrop. We've got a nice uh, backdrop going on there. And, you know, it's really, really cool, really effective if you wanted to do, you know, this sort of scene here. Of course, you're going to have to be mindful of getting people in the scene. And you can always lay a floor down and, you know, you can cover all of that. Uh, we'll just go to um, floor and we'll create a floor and we'll just raise that floor and make that much bigger and you'll see uh, we can then block that out and we can texture the floor etc but you know really really amazing guys and i'll just do another one as well just to kind of show you uh you can really do anyone that you anyone that you desire but you know really really does look amazing um and you know a fantastic way to get really quick quick scenes layered of anywhere in the world that kind of has Google Maps. So uh, we'll just try another one. We'll just go back onto our Google Maps. We'll go back. And we'll just choose uh, somewhere out of London now. Um, perhaps we'll choose Oxford. And we'll go over to Oxford. And uh, we'll choose this little area here. So we'll just drag and drop our little walk walking man, I call him. And we'll drop that there, okay, and brilliant. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll then copy and paste into our Google Street download and just go up here, delete that, paste that over, and we will hit download. A file list location may already exist, choose a different location. So we just need to change the name here. So we'll just add a one and we'll hit download and that will then begin to download. So you can see how quick it is, guys. And, you know, I really hope this helps. Um, you know, this is a, a really useful way to really start to rapidly begin to, you know, create worlds and, um, you know, get a scene looking as good as it can be. And, um, you know, really hope it helps. Uh, I think that's downloaded now. So if I go onto my desktop, that should be there. And we'll go back to iClone. And we'll go back to our sky. And we'll just load in that other texture that we just downloaded. I believe it was this one. And, you know, fantastic already. It looks amazing. It looks really, really amazing. You know, if you wanted to get a shot from an angle like this, you know, or here, you've got a nice backdrop going on that you can, you know, pan around and it looks just fantastic guys honestly really does and I know this tutorial is going to really help a lot of people because you know when I found out about this and how to do it I was blown away you can create unlimited stuff and you know you can do it really quick really effective really fast so you know we can go on all day um I'll try one more we'll just try maybe a unique area uh, let's try area 51 we'll see if we can um we'll see if we can get area 51 up area 51 okay brilliant so we've got area 51 we'll see if the little droppy man allows us there clearly not so we're not allowed anywhere near area 51 as in real life and it's funny that have you seen they do a little spaceship come up that is actually quite amazing um you know, to represent the conspiracy theory that Area 51 houses aliens. Uh, Google have been very creative in doing that little animation, I must say. I've never seen that before because I've never tried to search for Area 51. Uh, but anyway, beside the point, um, let's try a different location. We'll maybe try New York. And again, very easy, guys. So we'll go to the Empire State Building. We'll just zoom right into it so we can get right up close to it. 
and I'll drop the little dangly man right on it and okay so this has gone quite high up I'm not sure I wanted it to be this uh, angle so we'll just go back and I'll drop my little dangly man about here and hopefully that gives us a better result uh, okay so we've ended up in someone's <laughs> balcony um, not exactly where we wanted to be so we can just push out a bit um, okay maybe we can't so I'll just go back and I'll just try and get um, a bit of a better positioning um, the Empire State's here so maybe we want to be here okay brilliant and here we have um, a lovely New York very busy and um, we'll just go up here copy we'll paste that into our app uh, we'll change the name change that to two and we'll hit download and again guys you can see how quick it is how easy it is and um, you know I really hope this tutorial helps one or two people because I know it really helped me and um, it's really helped me to be as creative as I can and once that's done we'll just head back into iClone and again we'll just go over to our sky map and we'll just change that swap that round for our New York map and you'll see phenomenal phenomenal results so you know guys I really hope this helps um, it really is a cool little trick really really um, cool useful tool and I hope it really does serve um, it does serve some purpose to some of you out there so that concludes the tutorial guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications I'm dropping tutorials every day and really I'm just trying to free up the knowledge for everyone and you know get everyone uh, in a very creative space as I like to call it so without without saying anything else have a great rest of your day and see you again soon for another tutorial.